Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how to install RevOS Playbook. You may be asking, what is RevOS Playbook? Well, it's basically a small file that contains system modifications aimed at improving Windows. Basically, look at it as a custom Windows. I've been using RevOS for the past five to six months, maybe even more than that. And I have a lot of personal hands-on experience with it, so much so that I can gladly recommend it to people. And I have been doing so because even when I do a consult with somebody to improve their performance, I recommend they install RevOS Playbook. It got to the point where I decided to get in contact with the developers and ask them if I could make an installation guide for RevOS Playbook, because a lot of people wanted to install it, but were just a bit confused about the installation process. It is a very simple installation process, but for some people that have never done this before, it can be a bit scary, so here we are today with an installation guide. And for those of you asking why you would install RevOS and what benefits it has, it basically removes bloatware, improves system performance, and helps with privacy as it disables a lot of the tracking features that Windows has. Basically, it's a one-stop shop to making your computer work better, all while retaining full compatibility with any and all platforms and any Windows version. There used to indeed be an ISO file that you could download on a USB like a normal Windows install and just do a full clean install of RevOS. But that has been removed a while back and now the playbook is the only thing that remains. But the playbook does actually have advantages over the ISO install in that you theoretically don't even need to clean install Windows, but rather you can indeed just apply it to your current version of Windows. But I'm gonna preface this, it is highly recommended by the developers themselves that you do clean install and then apply RevOS rather than just applying it on a very old version of Windows on your old install even that's updated to the latest version of Windows. It just avoids the potential for issues to arise. As you can see, they even have a caution against it on their own website. While it is indeed possible to convert existing installations, it will indeed, in rare cases, cause issues. So in my opinion, if you guys just want to avoid having issues, full clean install Windows by going to reset this PC and do a cloud download, and then follow through with applying RevOS Playbook so you can avoid any and all issues. For those of you that don't know how to reset their computer, let me just quickly show you. All you're gonna have to do is go to the search bar in the bottom left, and you're gonna type reset. Once you've typed reset, you'll see this little pop-up here that says reset this PC, and you're gonna click on it. You're gonna go to reset this PC within the menu, click on it, and then you have two options, keep my files or remove everything. I highly recommend you remove everything because it'll often keep bloatware too, not only your files, but if you have important stuff that you need to back up, slap it on a hard drive or create a different backup for your files and choose remove everything. Now, you're gonna also have another two options over here, cloud download, local reinstall. I highly recommend you go the cloud download option just so you have the freshest version of Windows and nothing can go wrong with your RevOS install. Once you choose cloud download, you're gonna be able to start the process and then just click next and the process will begin. All right, so I just wanna let you guys know I did this on my laptop. So I'm gonna pop up task manager specifically to show you that it is indeed my laptop and to show you the amount of tasks running in the background. This is more just for a point of reference for you guys. So you have an idea of roughly what RevOS does in terms of debloating. This way, once we install RevOS, you're gonna be able to compare the RAM usage versus the normal windows and the background tasks versus the normal windows, just in case you're curious. Open up your current browser and you're gonna to wanna to Google RevOS. Basically, you're going to go to their website and go to the download link. Download is in the top right hand side of the page. Once you're on the download link, you're going to first get the AME wizard. That AME wizard is basically an installation tool. And what it'll do is it'll allow you to install the RevOS playbook file. As a fair note, the AME wizard is not actually owned by the Revy guys. It's a third party application that they're using for the installation of RevOS playbook. So if there's any glitches with the AME wizard, it is indeed out of their control. Once you've downloaded that, go and download the RevOS Playbook and click the red Download Playbook button. Once you're on this website, you're gonna get a personal data usage pop-up which you can click Consent or Do Not Consent to. You're then gonna be able to click Generate Download Link and you're gonna have to wait five seconds. Once those five seconds are up, you're gonna have to click the link generated yet again and it's gonna pop up a different page. Once this page has popped up, you can then click Download Now to get the RevOS file. Then you're gonna have to wait for the download to go through and you're basically done with downloading what you need to install RevOS Playbook. Before you continue with the installation, I would highly recommend going to your Windows settings, then Windows Update, 
and checking to see if you're on the absolute latest version of Windows you can possibly install. You'll do that by clicking get the latest updates as soon as they're available and then clicking check for update. Once you've done that, it should pop up with an update and then you can click download and install. Once the update is downloaded and installed and you've restarted your computer, you can go back to the Windows update just to double check that you're on the absolute latest version of Windows and you'll see a check mark there of that. So you can check again for update if you wish to do so. If you've got the green check mark, it means you're good to go to install RevOS Playbook. You're going to go over to your file explorer and you're going to click on it. Then you're going to go over to your downloads page. Once you're in your downloads page, make sure you locate the AME Wizard Beta and the RevOS Playbook document. You're going to first open the AME Wizard Beta and you're going to have to click on another pop-up confirming that you want to open it. Once it does open up, you're then going to have to go and find your RevOS Playbook document. As you can see, it opened in the background and now all you have to do is drag your RevOS Playbook file into the AME Wizard. And you're going to do that by clicking on a RevOS Playbook file and simply dragging it into the box in the top left hand side. Ooh, I know what a difficult install process that was. Let me wipe the sweat away and continue. As you can see, RevOS is luckily very easy to work with. Once you're in this menu over here, you're going to go to disable security and then you're going to click on open Windows security. For this part, you're going to have to disable your Windows Defender and Windows security, but you can indeed re-enable it if you so wish to do that. But at least for this install process, you're going to have to untick every single security protection here. So RevOS would be allowed to install itself onto Windows. Trust me, Windows doesn't appreciate when you make changes to it. So this is why this is necessary. You'll only be able to go forward once every single one of these tabs has indeed been ticked off. You'll know you did it right if it says Windows security is disabled and you'll then just be able to close this entire tab and continue with the install process of RevOS Playbook. You're going to click next and it's going to analyze the installation to make sure that everything is good to go for the install. Once it says requirements met, you can then click next and then agree to the license. And once you've agreed to the license, you're able to configure your options. This is my personal configuration. You can do it differently than me, but yeah, I'm not going to pick Brave or Firefox as I already have Chrome. I'm going to uninstall Microsoft Edge and also remove OneDrive. But mind you guys, none of this process that I'm doing right here with the configuring options is necessary by any means. You can also just click next and not configure any options and be perfectly fine. The only reason I like to configure is because I occasionally like to not apply the revision wallpaper or I disable the enable legacy photo viewer. And that's really it for me. Uh, there's nothing more to it and it's just a bunch of settings for RevOS to basically apply right on install so you don't have to do it after the fact. Once you're done with these settings, it's going to say all required configuration completed. You click next and the process begins. If you guys have any issues during the install, so you get stuck on reticulating splines, which is an issue that was mentioned to me that may happen to some people in very rare cases. There will indeed be a full section towards the end of this video that shows you exactly where you can find the help you need to get you out of your problematic situation. Wait until the end of the video if you do get into any trouble. I've installed Revy a lot of times and the install process takes between 3 to 7 minutes and at worst it's going to be like 10, but I generally see it take 3 to 5, so it's a really really quick install process, don't sit and wait there for an hour, because if it's taking that long, something's definitely wrong. With that said, that was basically it, your computer is going to automatically reboot when it's done, and there you go, RevOS is now booted in and fully functional. I applied the revision wallpaper specifically so you guys can see that it is indeed applied correctly and you can see that now there's only 112 processes running in the background which is much better than the initial 193 on default windows. The first place you should check in case you have any and all issues is the RevOS website by the RevOS documentation. Basically if you have a problem, if you need a fix, you may find it here and if you cannot find it here and you need further help, guess what, there's a beautiful discord channel RevOS provides which you can click on in the top right hand side of their website and join. Mind you, I don't have Discord installed on this computer. I have it on my streaming PC, so I can't show you the actual insides of the Discord right now. But basically, you would join, you would click that you accept the terms of talking within the channels, and then you'd go to the respective channel to ask for help. And regarding a known and fairly common issue with some PCs, it's the being stuck on reticulating splines. If this does happen to you, Here's the fix up on screen and yes in fact you can find this on the Discord channel too. And another very important thing to mention just from my end is that if you're on a Z790 board with LGA 1700 on a 14th gen CPU, I highly highly recommend that you have your chipset drivers installed if you're going to install RevOS. Why? Because they basically slightly renamed the 14th gen 
And that kind of messes up the code, which makes the allocation of the E cores and the P cores a bit funky with the custom power plans on RevOS. I had personal trouble with it, but I managed to fix it by just installing the chipset drivers, so I thought I'd let you guys know. Mind you, I was using the normal default Windows high performance along with the chipset drivers to have it work perfectly on RevOS. Anyway guys, I hope the guide was helpful. I personally love RevOS just because it makes my life very simple in a lot of situations. If I have a consult with somebody, I suddenly don't have to do half an hour of Windows tweaking, I can just apply RevOS and it does a better job than I ever could. Not to mention that it's actually trustworthy and it works really well. Through my five to six months of using it, I'd say I had very minimal issues and I can gladly recommend it. I'm not sponsored, remember. Uh, I don't really benefit from this in any way other than the fact that I can now give the video through a link to some people instead of having to walk them step by step in how to install RevOS, which yet again saves me a bit of time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope the guide was helpful. Have a good one and peace.